So today, something fell out of the sky. It's a UFO. <laughs> the cool thing we can ask ourselves today um, is the material or the way you construct a kite and really can make a kite light. We have seen uh, different materials being used on kites, but over here, well, they just leave the struts out. And the cool thing is, it's nothing new, because about eight years ago, uh, we've seen the first uh, strutless kites with uh, Maui uh, cloud foiling. Well, if you see that guy on, uh, on YouTube, you can see his beautiful strutless kites. I think I wrote them about eight, nine years ago when I was on Maui, when he had the first prototypes. Then RRD came and all the other brands as well. I think he also had a Nash Fly and about, well, maybe one, maybe one and a half season, we had all the strutless kites and then they disappeared. So, um, foiling, maybe the foiling. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe hydrofoiling uh, gives it a new, um, well, use. Because, well, you know, subtler skies, they have uh, some really nice characteristics, but they also have some, uh, well, challenges, especially when it comes to relaunching. But, well, you know, we're going to show you. It's easy. So it's, uh, it is a little bit too cold to get uh, really nice curls in small bikinis pumping up your kite. <laughs> so we have to do it the way it is. So what you can probably see on this kite, it has uh, no struts and the material is made of, you can see it's just a uh, good old D1 Decron, no quadruple poople kind of stuff, just a uh, simple Decron because well, you know, they won't expect you to use this kite in uh, really heavy storms or anything. So yeah, well you can see the construction is a little bit fluffy. And you can also see that the leading edge is a little bit more swept back. Also the leading edge materials, Decron. No uh, fancy fancy stuff on this guy. <laughs> you can see the front almost wants to lift up itself. And uh, the wingtips are quite swept back. And they do have a twig in here. Oh, yeah. But you can see normally the twigs are a little bit stiff. And over here, they almost look uh, gummy-like. So they would prevent uh, the wingtips from fluttering a little bit more when you're, uh, when you're steering it. But it's not the stiff stuff you normally do, you, you normally have in your kite. So especially if you want to squeeze it down, because you have to remember, uh, people, this thing came out of this little bag, and that's small bag. So uh, if you even have uh, really rigid uh, sticks in it, you probably would uh, crush them in an instant. When you look over here, just some nice uh, reinforcements in there with also the just the heavy Degron uh, material. So no light, fancy, fancy material in this kite, and it's still incredibly light. Now, probably the battery of my uh, scientific measuring device is a little bit dead, but probably uh, Steph can uh, fix it in the subtitling uh, over here because, well, Slingshot put those uh, scientific measurements on their website as well. It's a drone shot. Hij is gaat ietsje hoger aan het die bij jou gaat ietsje dieper. Of eh mijn is wat dieper. Dus hoi. Ja. Nee, die krijgen jullie niet uit. Nee. Nee. Die krijgen er voor een meter uit. Nee, ik denk dat wel een ding is. Nee, ik denk dat wel een ding is. 
<laughs> if I crash the kite for some reason, you know, when you're foiling, you're going past your kite. And now I like to crash it uh, all the way into the edge of the wind window. They are crashing it here. And look, this is a little bit of situation what you can get. When the wind is blowing more and more on top of the canopy, you can see that it's keeping the kite down. Now, you want to change your situation. So you want to swim a little bit past the kite, so it can catch a little bit of air, and then you're okay again. Well, today we got quite, uh, quite enough wind, so today is not that hard. But especially in uh, lighter wind conditions, when you would usually go foiling like uh, below 10 knots, um, then it can be a little bit harder. What I said is, um, the UFO is uh, foil experts only. Yes. We need to be a real expert. Are well, we experts today? Yeah, yeah you're, you're, you're for sure. Yeah, I'm an expert. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not, uh, it's not me. It's the kite I'm riding that's saying I'm an expert. But um, if you're not such an expert yet, then you can also choose the uh, one strut sister of the uh, UFO called the uh, Ghost. Because it's almost a similar kite, but it still has a strut. So it keeps the canopy upright. So it's just a little bit easier to relaunch it. But then, uh, well, you're not an expert. How does expert walk? What's the expert walk? They look really cool. What, no, normally what they also do, you know, they grab onto the wrong side of, uh, of the bar. Just, <laughs> just because they can, you know. Like, well, you know, I'm a right hand, left side of the bar, no worries, I'm an expert. Oh yeah. and it's really uh, playful as well you can see we are just uh, fooling around with backstalling it and riding past it and I really don't see because uh, well we've seen all that cloud foiling and now we got a chance to try it for ourselves <laughs> Swim to one side. 
very playful you have to know a little bit about uh, what you're doing and you have to have some experience with kiteboarding so I wouldn't recommend it to um, to really beginners but then if you like hydroboarding and you like to play around a little bit it's really nice you know you can fool around play around with it we try backstalling it when we are uh, foiling trying to fiddle it around so you're like playing around with your kite while foiling and that's really really nice but there have been a lot of uh, strutless kites in the past as well. Maybe you have been riding uh, one of those. So let us know down in the comments what you think of uh, yeah, strutless kites in, uh, in general. And um, like uh, the other extraterrestrial, be good. Hey Andre, can oh? you uh, get the sponsors? Our sponsors, Vasa and Contain. Okay. Go right in the car. Next you a big boy, and we got um, Urknek from uh, Bolletje. Mm. <laughs> we couldn't be profies without this. Pro <laughs> 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 They're profi. 